I am Casa Sheva Jackie here and welcome to a new episode of my my hometown low league management say with running asylum and as you can see um, the start of this season has been way better than last season unfortunately we still have a B just but well uh, yeah in Sheda was the most impressive they were top half there yes <laughs> when we met them so let's go through the result after TG FF we won uh, Theo Lind scored a hat trick there so that's pretty lovely uh, and Christopher Blomqvist as well he was almost man of match here Sandstrom great through ball here to Theo Lind now I believe he's our best top scorer with 52 or 53 goals from 8 Free match league matches, something really impressive. Uh, so Eke Lund there assisting. Yeah, I'm, at least I'm going to show this and the other match. I don't know if I look too yellow here. I might just see if that's the only thing in the white balance. I guess that would be a little bit better. Not too exposed. I'm sorry. Or changing that all the time. Well, they just wanted to be the best it can be. So yeah, he had that in. The one against Acropos list has played in have played in Super Etan there. Uh, so yeah, against Toxun. Penalty by Eric Carlson and Oscar Larson was back there scoring a goal. Honing, yeah, unfortunately we did just get a free free here. Uh Theo Lin saved though. We were down free. We were leading and then we're down 3 1, and then we managed to at least come back. I don't know, we uh, might check the stats. Yeah, we should have probably won that, but we did not take our chances. Sand Weekend, that was fairly disappointed. A really bad match by us. Nothing really worked. We created chances, had the possession as usual, but then I scored the goals against Karlstad Academy. Got the draw there. Uh, Kevin Limatainen and Theo Lind, as you can see, Theo Lind almost scoring every single match. Um, Gaffle at home, unfortunately, I lost there. Fairly, even though I don't think it was undeserved. And um, what is he called now? Uh, Johan Passion was really good in the goal there, so it could have even been worse. So Theo Lind here scoring two goals. August Sandstrom scoring a goal and Ludwig Graun actually scoring a goal. As you can see, the average rating was amazing there. I don't know if they were just in Shedda that was terrible or what, what was going on. I need to slow this down. This seems a little bit fast right now. We're showing just highlights. There we have him, Theo Linder, Sandstrom assisting. And this was the second goal though, so I don't show him in a row actually. Uh, calls on there with a through ball into Sandstrom. And uh, Sandstrom scored in the end there. This was the last goal. So pretty impressive. I don't know if this is our biggest victory. I did not get any recognition for it being that. So it's probably not... Uh, New record, Stefan Eklund here as well. It was surprising since uh, both of our regular uh, central defenders, uh, Blomqvist was out with injury. Yeah, we have Gran there that experience, but yeah, we played with Lindstrom Noring instead. So it was surprising. The main thing, which was really fun, was that Fredriksson scored his first goal of the season. Yeah, he's probably going to come in now and then because his free kicks are just lovely. So, lovely shot there by Ludwig Gran. And then we have Chris Christopher Fredriksson with a lovely uh, free kick there. Unfortunately, against Lund, we did just get a 0-0 draw there. They have started the season really bad. I believe they're like 12. As you can see, a Lindstrom Noring, which I didn't thought would be that great. He is more of a backup, but recent matches done it really good. Yeah, and today we're meeting Lulio. I will see after this match if we 
will play Dalkur as well. We will just see how I might make this a little bit shorter since I've seen that the recent episodes <laughs> have been like, or b before I even added him, there have been like 36 minutes. So yeah, Tiolin their best goal scorer. I was sans run with a free assist and free goals. Uh, Stefan Eklund has gone in there and been superb as well. Tillind, Sandström, Blomqvist, yeah, just this last season. Being one of our most important defenders there, but as you can see, Jürgen Lindström, Noring has done it really good as well. And Wiedfeldt, which I did not thought would be the starting defender, which I thought... Where is he? Is he on the bench now? Yeah, Sävström, not started that great, so... Yeah, mainly just going with the same lineup because I don't feel like our wha whipped is that good. I'm still scouting some players from Division 2, but it seems like most of them are either too expensive or I haven't scouted that much. That I'm sure that I want to bring him in like this player. We know too little about him right now, so I don't want to scout anyone and then they not going to be great in the end so <clears throat> going with this lineup uh, so yeah passion in goal as usual Linnell hasn't got that many chances I guess I could see if anyone in the youth team here has done superbly and it's up on the two star no unfortunately not uh, who's the Nicholas is at least developing but it's still seven choice there I'm just we're just going to go through these ones. He is our fourth choice. Al is third choice there. He's a little bit, but uh, I want to loan this out, but it seems like no one was interested. As you can see, all of the, these are on loan listed, so it's a little bit unfortunate. At least this the one on one and a half star. Glenn Lindblad as well, one and a half star there. As you can see, yeah, they're pretty low down rating, unfortunately. And as you can see, not too many. Andreas, Andre Anderson. No, I'm probably going to let him go. Yeah, I think none of these are really because they don't seem to develop or get much better. But we will see if we can loan them out else. And these two goalkeeper and Jesper, Jesper Fredriksson, maybe. Though he doesn't have the mental compulsory there, but. Finish or his physicals are pretty good. It's not too far away for Valid there. Let's just see here. What was he called now? Fredrickson. Okay, yeah, he's a little bit better attacking there. Aerially and technically, but he's still uh, fifth choice. So he hasn't got that many game time. Cyrus though is... Uh, Young players got a lot of game time, so yeah, we're going with Passion, uh, Carlson, Gran, <coughs> Danson, Wiedfeldt, uh, Eklund, Sandström, Rubator, Poor. He has just two stars, but I want to give him some game time. Uh, Log Lovely Extra, I don't know how to do with him because the likelihood of him improving. <laughs> It's very low, so we might get rid of him. It's on the bench today, though, because yeah, Nilsson has played a lot. But I want to give Lekstrom some at least um, substitution here, and then we have Kevin Lima timing that's just incredible. <laughs> uh, yeah, Felix Lundgren, we should talk about him. He's very. Yeah, I thought he was good last season, but now he's just very not doing what he should be doing. <laughs> what I would say, he has the crossing and the technique, but so far not great. He is on a non-contract though, so I could get rid of him. But the problem is, like you can see, our left wingers, we're kind of lacking that. And since we couldn't loan in, I guess we could see... It. Yeah, I guess I'm not going to play the next match, I'm pretty sure. And uh, yeah, left backs, right backs were pretty good. Nordstrom hasn't though gotten a lot either. And he is also on a non-contract, so we don't know. We might 
get rid of him. Oscar Larsson, yeah, he has had some injuries, so he's a little bit problem to come back. But we know what he can get, do, so he's going to get his chances there. We maybe need some better strikers. I don't feel like Daniel Nilsson, even if he says that he's a pressing striker. I feel like he's better in the midfield here. So yeah, we definitely need um, left backs, maybe a goalkeeper left wingers and maybe a striker and the transfer window opens on july so it's there i believe at the hoodix wall game we might yeah we are probably going to check through after i play this match uh, when we are going to be back but i'm going to play through that break which definitely is uh, uh, that's annoying. It's just light from the computer. You see that here is a little bit blue light or whatever. Sorry, I don't want to have the stats twice here. That seems silly of the game. So yeah, um, uh, yeah, they are newcomers. Or they have been actually in Division 1 a lot, but just gotten up there. Yeah, it's still a better, <laughs> still a better reputation than us, but oh well. Hopefully we, I saw him, we're definitely going to have the Swedish Cup, so we'll probably have that match as well. As you can see, Ian Schede, yeah, we're kind of six points away there, so we have to take our points in all the matches. Good there, Saric. Unless on with the through ball, unfortunately it doesn't go to Lind. I might just show you Lind's records here, and he's actually a second goal score in the league as well so he's done it really really good good done is on can we oh that's not great is that not offside that looked totally offside yeah was too too alone there it went too way way early but i don't know <laughs> maybe it's because i played in window mode you and you can't really see that uh good offside line there in the middle about but it would be lovely if we can win this and go to 19 just like uh, Javle there because this is a match that we definitely should be able Eklund has not played great not a wing I don't want to take Lind out because I know what he can do when he's good I'm just going to get Selström in here and hopefully will play better than he done recently Recent matches because yeah, he's not been great like 6.50 or something like that Sandstrom, Carlson, I might bring in oh man, that's a uh, Sending off. I'm pretty sure of. push for uh, now. We Should be able to win this match now. It's a little bit disappointing if we doesn't do that with one man uh, more here Fredriksson Gran, ooh, clears the way. Oh, that's not great. But <laughs> it's their defense. Lind holds up the ball here, loses the ball though. And we get the throw in here. Still loss, still going here. Fredriksson, Carlson. Ooh, sorry, extra in, but mm, they're still doing that good in the central midfield. Might just get Norgren in here. This has not been the match for Lind. Fortunately, I wanted to give a log lovely extra of some matches, but it's not going to happen. Oh, is that offside? That seems, yeah. That uh, It just did not look great there, even if I can't see the full. Come on, can we please score a goal here? It's a little bit disappointing when we dominate in all the match. Ah, oh, for God's sake, and we concede a penalty. Of course we do that. When we dominated the match and then we lose it anyway. That's just lovely. <sighs> I mean, we have Linden and, and no one else can score goals. As I'm pretty sure you could see. So if Linden has a bad match, well, we are basically done then. I'm not happy. I'm just going to be honest and not lie to you. I'm not happy. So, probably should do that. Yeah, that would be... So, probably Swedish Cup somewhere around there. We might do the first round and then the second round. Because I was surprised, but it's very close. 
indeed and as you can see now we are seventh place and as you see as well uh, I had the team meeting after Javle or if it was after Kalsa and then we won 7-0 and then I thought well now we have started turning around no no we haven't uh, because Lund yeah they are 12th and Lulio is probably 10th so I guess we will see uh, we have uh, Jerusalem coming up there and then with Dalkur there's 6 that's important match to keep up uh, it's really frustrating as you can see here as well we do score a lot of goals I guess we haven't conceded that many goals but just we are kind of inconsistent with too many draws just like a last season let's just show you that record there oh he has scored the most goals by a player in a season as well and now 53 goals and most uh, uh, yeah most legals and most goals in and Max Lag level Ekstrom has played most matches there that's the issue <laughs> that's why I don't want to let him go I don't know who is behind them but I feel like the one that is behind them probably hasn't done as many matches he's not played that long uh, Erik Karlsson, I'm just going to check here, he's played like 60 matches. Saric, I don't feel like he's played that much. Fredriksson, 123, so that's still <laughs> far away. Olauson, I mean, he never play. Okay, he's pretty near though, so he's probably going to be the next overtake or whatever, but still he's just... This is the annoying thing, most of them has really good curve or really good potential, but I think our yeah, a training facility, okay, adequate is not bad, but yeah, if we had even better facilities I feel like we would or maybe the training is not great either so yeah, we will be back in August there and might have done some signings, hopefully we'll get in the money from the Halmstad agreement there, but Economically, yeah, we are not surprising minus once again. I don't know why the board was like 24 million if you just put in that transfer uh, But if we would be even but we're probably still going to Because as you can see even if income is low the expenditure is still higher and then we still like uh, Yeah, 4,000 under the wage budget and have I don't know how many we have, but we have probably like five players on non contract. So, yeah, one, two, three, four, five players. So, still saving as much as we can. And as you can see, no one is really earning that much money. It's just three players here. There's probably is the most important player to earn of 600,000 per month, but that's not a lot. So yeah, uh, so thank you all for watching, have a good tea and a good coffee day, and I see you soon again, so bye!